do 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 we're only one minute late because it took me a whole minute to find my phone and my chat is taking forever to load okay greetings everyone this is elizabeth and that is deborah my crafty friend which makes us two crafty girls ha 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 Thank you for joining us. If you're watching the replay, you can, of course, fast forward to all the fun parts that you're interested in. Um, but we, we, we are, no, <laughs> we are just, oh, get, we're getting some of our crafty friends in. We have Jean and Maddie, the emptiness scrapper, and Kim in Alaska. Hello, hello. But uh, yeah, we're here just to play around and um, not necessarily make anything specific, but uh, I'm going to let you know what Deborah, I'm not going to let you know, Deborah, Deborah is going to let you know what she's working on while I get the things I need to work on. Okay. So I'm making now the dividers for that binder that I'm making. Um, I, I felt like I should you know, continue the rustic inside, even though I saw papers that were shiny and I thought they were beautiful and I should put them in there, but I'm like, no, 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 no. Continue with the rustic and the steampunk to the inside of my uh, binder for the dividers. So I have a punch and it punches out the tabs. Um, I just used my uh, brother label maker to print the names and um, I will show you this pad of paper in a moment right now I thought I should fussy cut start fussy cutting this one because it's yeah it needs it's got a lot of ins and outs and then I'll be fussy cutting um, this one too oh I like that one and then I have some rustic paper over here and then I'm going to grab a page out of this paper pad, too. I'm going to put um, an element on each page um, that's um, gears and stuff like that. So steampunk. Nice. That I find. And I thought, well, you know what? Instead of making the pages and making the ephemera, I should just give myself a break and use what I have. Yeah, yeah. Dig in your stash. Yeah. I think we all need to dig in our stash a little bit more sometimes. We tend to forget all the goodies that we have. I know I do. I got a lot of goodies. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> right. And you know how many goodies I have. Because you've been here. Yeah. You've seen, you seen my hoarding. <laughs> Donna Long! Hello, hello! Okay, that is not the one that goes in there. Let's try this again. Nope, that is... That is okay, why did it go through the last time with the C plate, but it won't this time? So I've got a new radio new? that has... Um, an LCD screen that pops out, so it'll come out of the radio, uh -huh. so it doesn't have to be out all the time. Oh, but I, I, I'm like, yay! I get, a, I get a, a screen, and then um, I was almost gonna have, almost gonna have a backup camera too, because it came with it, but we can't use it. Oh. Yeah. Why can't you use it in your, your car? Because there is nowhere in the back the way it. the bug is shaped yeah. for me to put the camera. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Okay. So, you guys, this is the new Arbor. Well, I Ivy. Ivy and something. I forgot. 
Arbor, Arbor and Ivy. Arb yeah, Arbor and Ivy. Um, da -da -da -da. Spaghetti Carbonara says Maddie is her dinner. Yes, Maddie. Um, Deborah got a new to her, but gently used bug. Yeah. So, when she shows up, I can slug a bug her. <laughs> <laughs> I did that to Steve too while we were in the car. <laughs> yes. Okay, this is really pretty. And on the plus side, it comes with the die. So you don't even have to. Oh, look at that. The impression. The impression for where that cut is for the top of the die. So you know where that goes. Well, I'll be darned. That's nice. Let's cut out our ivy. I feel like I need another piece. I feel like I want two pieces of ivy. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to put this in my journal, you guys. I'm making something journal-y. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. This is not lunar paste for anybody asking. It is TCW, the, the something workshop. But it is chartreuse. It is chartreuse. Okay, so I need my book pull out my book you see that and then I need to go to my earth my earth side right here in the back you get back in there okay we're going land we're gonna probably swap one of these out or put that right in there somehow maybe there we're gonna do a, an arbor thingy Oh, I like that. I feel like this art is really intricate. I wonder if we could do some serious fussy cutting. And then do do this in metallic. I don't know. I just feel like this would be really fun in a marbly metallic. And then fussy cut all of it out. And then put it on on something. And then put the ivy on the top and the bottom. That's kind of how I'm feeling. Pam, a PJB stampa. Um, Kim in Alaska says, I'm almost through one 12 by 12 cardstock pad that I think is ugly. I've been using it for five by seven card bases. Yeah, yeah, Miss Biddy Penny is great for that kind of advice. She makes her Franken paper with the paper she doesn't like too. That's awesome, Kim. Um, has anyone spoken with Sherry D recently? Um, I... No. I personally have not, but, uh, you know, you guys are welcome to send her a card. Um, if you have her on Facebook, you know, you can drop her a little hello and all that. I do, I do my mental send outs. She's on my list of mental send outs to send, you know, well wishes to. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so, you guys, we're going... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. We're definitely going to do it. We're going to do it. If anybody out there would like Sherry D's address, um, <laughs> you have to be part of my group <laughs> or uh, a longtime subscriber. If you don't have Sherry D's address, I I can get it to you. You have to be trustworthy, is what I'm getting at. No spamming Sherry D. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Okay, so that's gonna go there. We're gonna we're gonna 
get this all lively. We're gonna need a box cutter for this. Not a box cutter, but you know what those thingies are I'm talking about, right? Okay, so we're going to, you know, we're gonna use our finger tool today. We're gonna use our finger tools and we're gonna grab some silver lining, some shady, and a touch of cookie dough. Okay, and we're going to do this whole arbor. We're gonna start with a light base today, because we can. Ooh, that's getting thick. Getting... Okay. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. I want to do this on black too. It might look better on black. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, I don't even know if we need to mix colors. Having it silver is kind of pretty. I'm not going to lie. So what paper pad are you using? I'm sure you said that. Okay, so every mostly everything is um, Stamperia. Yeah, you do like them. They're your vibe. That I know. Yeah. And then I have one that is, I mean, I think it's Park Lane. No, it is not. It is Craft Con Consortium. Consortium. I've, I think you've mentioned them before, but I don't. I don't think I've actually shopped for them. Um, this is um, oh, rusty goodness. You and your rusty goodness. <laughs> Okay, you know, I'm going to do this again in black, too. I just have a feeling that this might look really good on black. Although I do like that, too. Looks like it matches my nails, yeah. If I muck it up, I just, I go do it again, you guys. I kind of like that, though, just a little bit. And using the finger tools is going to leave it to dry really fast, too. nice okay yeah no I like that that's what we're gonna stick with oh gotta put this away okay so we're gonna do we're gonna do this again on black just because I kind of want to see but that is silver lining and a little bit of shady in there on white cardstock and then we're gonna fussy cut this bad boy out. Drastically fussy cut. <laughs> but we're gonna check it out on black first. But not that kind of black. We just need regular black. 
do 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 where's my michael's heavy stock there you are okay oops nope i don't need the last piece i need the first piece well this is the last piece because we're backwards there we go Shady lining, ha ha, Melissa K has popped into the house. Okay, so we're going to do this on this, but we're going to send it through. Hopefully it will go through because it's thicker paper. And if you're using the cuddle bug system, we have A and C. Not A and E, but A and C. <laughs> Do they even have the A and E channel anymore? I don't even know. Maybe my problem was I had it shoved too far up the last time. That might be it. Let's not shove it all the way up. It's gonna be a doozy. Ah. Watching any good shows lately, my peeps? Deborah. Uh, no. <laughs> she says, no, I have not. No, I've been just watching shows because they were there and sure, why not kind of thing. I just, nothing really, anything to brag about. Yeah. I haven't watched TV in days. I've been reading books and don't tell nobody. <laughs> <sighs> I don't think I've read so many books in my life. <laughs> been on like this book book reading thingy I don't know but uh, I do I'm gonna put my books aside after I finish this one tonight and then I'm gonna be watching the new avatar the last airbender on uh, Netflix I was gonna start watching that so my kids and I are big well not like super fans but we really like the cartoon series and when they first made the first Avatar movie, it was it was a bomb. It was it was bad. I mean, they could have hit on so many things because the cartoon was just so darn good, and they mucked it up. They mucked it up bad. And so um, when they announced that Netflix was taking and going with a series, I was like, I don't know if I want to watch it. And I was still hesitant until my kids are like, We watched it. It's good. I'm like, Okay, I'll watch it then. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah they they uh, they did they mucked up the first one so bad and i'm just like i can't handle it but i saw a preview because i wasn't even watching previews i'm like i don't even know but the kid they got to play one of the the young young men he he looks pretty funny so i'm kind of actually really excited to do that oh deborah um, this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna have to mail this to you. And then you can have a spooky, ooky. Oh, I put too much on. I shouldn't have put too much on. Oh, well. I got a little crazy. We're gonna make it kind of spooky. Look at that, Deborah. arbor with the silver on the black. I that like looks it. nice. I like it. We're gonna just kind of add some smoky mokies to it. I'm gonna send this one to Deborah. I'm not gonna put this one in my book, but I do like it. I do like it on the black, though. I just need a little bit more.
goes in your finger tools, it dries really fast, you guys. T! Hello! off my fingers are making making mess oh yeah oh yeah look at that I send this to you you could pave it you need more in the center though in case you want to put some flowers on it my dog my dog my dog my dog what's your pupper doing he will pace back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth from the bedroom to the living room to the kitchen and then come back again. I wonder if I'm like, stressing him out. <gasps> Nobody's out there. So he's like, I don't, this is what I don't understand. I'm in bed. I'm there. It's not like he's like completely alone, right? Right. I'm in the bed. He knows I'm there. So then he. So now Steve and I are both in the living room, you know, uh, and then Sammy lies down to go to sleep. I'm like, oh, but if I, I'm in bed, he will go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I'm when like, you're oh in bed, do you feel God. any anxiety or anything when he does that? Yes. Okay, let me rephrase that. Before he starts that, do you feel anxiety? No. No. The next time he does that, really think and check yourself over if you're feeling weird or a little off. I'm thinking he just doesn't want to be left alone. Yeah, he could also be vibing. Because usually... Uh, Pacing like that is a type of anxiety in itself. John, Donna, Jonna Watson, hello, hello. She says, is he hungry? <laughs> no, no. And he did this at seven o'clock in the friggin' morning. <laughs> and like. St Steve was downstairs looking for something. And I'm like, did you feed him? Yeah. Did you let him out? Okay. And I went back to bed. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, some, something's up. Something's up. Something's up. Moonlight scene. Yeah. So, this one would be a really nice moon one. And, you know, a little moon and stuff. And maybe a little witch and some... Yeah. I send it to Deborah. Make her think of something. <laughs> I don't want to be pressured. <laughs> It'll just be in her stash of stuff forever and ever. <laughs> She's like, that girl. My Elizabeth stash. And then she'll be like, why am I hanging on to this? <laughs> uh, I know. Because you were up. told to make something from it. <laughs> This lines up really nice, so we're just gonna line that up right there and send it through to the other side. I think I might have moved that back too much. Have Bean and Ginger um, seen any birds yet? Um, yeah. <laughs> have they done their exciting little chatter? Um, not all cats do that. 
Um, oh, really? I think it's hilarious. I thought they do. Yeah, no, it's it's not all cats do it. Um, and they haven't, but Carmel used to do stuff like that. With the, <laughs> the little... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jonna says he's hungry for attention. <laughs> That's what he's hungry for. Okay. Okay, so here is this paper pad. I love this. This is like... She oh. is so gorgeous. It is. And freaking then, gorgeous. T, T said that she loved your uh, Stamperia steampunk paper. Of course T would. It's right in her vibe too. <laughs> they vibing. They vibing the same. I need one piece of paper. What paper am I using? 65 pound. 65 pound. Da -da -da -da. Will that fit across there? Yes, it will. Thank you very much. I'm going to use um, I'm going to use this as one of my pages because it's so yummy. Yummy. So yummy. So yummy. So yummy. Um, yeah, if you guys like the Spellbinders embossing folders, you got to make sure that the base of your platform is over eight and a half inches, or you got to run it through twice, you know, once and then the other half. And they're wide too. Eight and a, eight, uh, over eight and a half, it's like eight and three quarters by five and three quarters. They're huge. They're huge. A whole half a sheet of paper fits inside. What is the name of the paper pad? Do you have a name for that paper pad, Missy? Mechanical Sea World. Oh, perfect name. And I get all the mermaids. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to emboss yeah. the whole thing. Janine! Janin is in the house. Or, oh, we don't need to. Okay, so there's, to. there's actually here. And I'll go this way and I'll show you. Yeah. See, I don't like, I mean, I like the pipe. I just don't, maybe if I cut them apart, it would be better to my eye. But I just think there's just too many. Um, or um, do uh, like a stencil over it. So that some of those sections get covered by stencil. True. I know, right? I speak the truth. <laughs> oh, don't even ask. I don't even know. I just. All right. So I don't need. We're gonna stuff that in there. Shove this back through the cuddle bug. The cuddle bug. And this paper is, it's, it's thick. Like, yeah, it's more of a card, card stock yeah. than a patterned paper. Yeah, a lot of companies, I, I feel after the, the 1900s, went and decided that flimsy paper was just not in anymore. And a lot of it has gone to thicker thicker paper so people could do more things with it like that paper would be great for a journal cover because it's nice and thick, thick. yeah I like that they give us an area to put this with that little dashity line. I'm not going to lie. I like that little dashity, not dashity line, but this, it, you guys see that? It like, this is the line that this sets up to. So you can, or you can fussy cut and make it bigger if you want to. Like fussy cut out, but I'm going to use their die because I have it and it's mine. But I'm, I'm up to stuff. 
just a little bit. Pam, if you nap now, my dear, you won't sleep later. Seven, six, five, four. Although it is only four o'clock. A late afternoon snoozer. Late afternoon snoozer. I took... <laughs> I slept all day, you guys, because I was up reading the book, trying to get it done. I got ten chapters left, but at noon, at noon, I was like, I need to go to bed. Oh, it's worse than binge, binge watching, binge reading. <laughs> it's terrible. I should be ashamed, but I'm not. So there. Oh, look at that. There's our second one figure out what colors to do those. I'm not quite sure. I might actually Yeah, Pam says I haven't gone to sleep before 3 a.m. in weeks. Okay. We're gonna drop that in the garbage. I don't need those. Why am I hanging on to those? Uh. Guys, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm trying to make something cool. I'm trying to do two things at once. I plumb forgot that Spellbinder sent me this. So I need to make a card <laughs> to take a picture and put it in the thingy. But now we're going to fussy cut. We're going to fussy cut, fussy cut, fussy cut. Okay, wait, where's my paper? Okay, we're gonna, I'm just going to kind of do an audition. We're going to cut that out and set that there, and that's going to go up there, and that's going to go down here. But I already like that, but that's going to be cut out. So we're going to need something behind all of this. But I don't know what. Maybe an explosion of color. That might be fun. Oh, that might be fun. But let's fussy cut. Who wants to watch me fussy cut? <laughs> or fussy exacto knifey? Exacto knifey fussies. <laughs> oh, somebody's in trouble. That's a lot of sirens. Definitely a fire truck. I might be a little insane for attempting this. Just bear with me. I don't even know you guys. This knife is not sharp. Okay, for all of you out there that are new to X-Acto knives, maybe you got one because you saw somebody fussy cutting little details out. If you must replace it, I do suggest, suggest, you don't have to, you can cut your fingers, I don't care. Um, <laughs> I, I like to put, you know, you always want to grab it from the backside. If you're not going to use tape, make sure you grab it from the backside. But if you use a little bit of tape and wrap that around there, okay, and then it's, the blade is all automatically sealed in there and it's not going to really get you. And then I also will take in, dig in the trash and then wrap it in some paper. So I don't, I'm not going to throw this away just yet. I need to give it some <laughs> more security because I'm one who will dig in the trash because I thought I threw something away I wasn't supposed to. And I don't want to lob my fingers off, if that makes sense. But I gotta grab another plate. We don't want to cut our fingers off as much as we want to. <laughs> Not really. Pam, Pam doesn't want to see the blood. She says no. But why not? I know, right? <laughs> and you could do the same thing if you're nervous, okay, or your hands are shaky. You can put the new blade in a piece of tape as well. Just gives yourself a little bit something more to hang on to. Set it in there like you're supposed to. This particular one, twist at the bottom. <laughs> but twist the right way. Yes, no bleeding on camera, okay? So mine is nice and secure so I've got my little tape there now I can take my little tape off nice new blade 
Um, second tip, do not, these things are so cheap, you guys, so cheap, so cheap. Do not use a dull blade. There's no need for it. No need. Come closer. Come closer. I need you down here. You guys, we're, we're going to be a little psycho today. We're going to cut a little bit of these out. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but we're going to try. I don't know. Would it be better if I cut it from the back side? Probably not. While I've been live with you guys, I've kept the screaming to myself. I have whacked both my knees. And <laughs> the first one, oh my god. That was so painful. Um, you know, you need those <laughs> knees to walk around, right? Yeah. If you keep damaging them, you're, you're just not going to be able to walk around. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just saying. Well, thanks for the information. <laughs> I never knew these things. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm here. I'm here to enlighten you. <laughs> yes. yes. Give me all of the knowledge. All the knowledge. Yes, you guys. Do not cut your fingers off. Do not whack your knees. Uh, only cut your fingers if you need red. <laughs> no, not even if you need red. That's bad <laughs> advice. <laughs> not unless you met a vampire lately and you're trying to befriend them. Which I would not suggest either. Just saying. <laughs> you might not have your, your best interests at heart. Well, I'm just saying. I love this trimmer. I love, love, love. This is the best trimmer I've ever had. Where have you been all my life? In development. Yeah. <laughs> He's been in development. <laughs> Bye, Miss Pam. She's gonna go have some dinner. Well, she's gotta go make it first, but. We had kielbasa, cabbage, and angel hair pasta with, um, well, I don't know. So we, we had a recipe for udon noodles, which is really good. Um, it uses like tamari, which is like a soy sauce, but not a ton, a little bit of stuff, a liquid to make this sauce for udon noodles. And we... We implement it because udon noodles are actually really expensive, but they're super good. But we found that angel hair pasta gives the same effect, per se. But yeah. So that's what we had, our version of udon with kielbasa. Kielbasa and bacon. Bacon. <laughs> what was no. I thinking? I think this will be cool, but this is going to take me a bit, you guys. And now, thinking. See, I don't like that side, and it will show through. So, but now I'm. Why will it show through? Because I'm going to laminate it. Oh. So, paint it up. 
paint it up and put some stencil work into it. Make it grungy dull. Make it your your style. That one. That one's okay. That's what I would do. I was just gonna find some sheets of paper because I already I have some eight and a half by elevens already, <laughs> and don't know if I'll have this color. I'm so glad Pam left. Why? <laughs> you just cut yourself. I stabbed myself. Ah! <sighs> oh my gosh, you guys. What were you saying to me? Yeah, I went to swipe. <laughs> I went to swipe away the piece and the wet. I don't even know how I did it, but my well, finger came back and stabbed myself. Because, yeah. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it's not like a cut. I just kind of like poked poked it and because it's extra sharp it said yeah have fun with that it's more like a finger prick <laughs> I pricked myself I need band-aids <laughs> which is funny because the hubby cut himself yesterday and he's like we need band-aids well we really need them now <laughs> don't mind me while I go chopping my fingers off you guys <laughs> Just a little, little, a little prick. <laughs> uh, not to be confused with a big prick, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, no, my makeshift band-aid. I need my makeshift band-aid. Duct tape. Yeah, well, I got a little bit of knack in, and a, it, I must have stabbed it in there pretty deep. I mean, it's a teeny little prick, but it's still, still doing its thing. God, I feel so dumb. <laughs> Don't do what I do. Don't go swiping stuff away, you guys. Just put the knife down, then swipe. There. And you guys won't even know. You guys won't even know. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. And this is why. This is why. <laughs> well, see, I don't even know. Because, see, this is what I did, and I came back somehow and stabbed myself. to see because there's lattice things but since I put the paste on I kind of flattened it out a little bit kind of, kind of hard to see yeah you can cut through the lunar paste very nicely I think Wednesday we're going to play with some lunar paste, you guys, but um, on different things. We're going to go over that again, I think. I really like using lunar paste on, like, all sorts of stuff. I think we'll do something on a piece of glass and then peel it and <laughs> put it somewhere else. Because that'll be fun, trust me. So, if you guys are interested hang out with me on Wednesday we'll play with some lunar paste we'll do some mixy matchy lunar and solar paste we'll play with them both and do some interesting things but not on paper paper will not be involved so if you're out there and you're watching and you're curious as to what you can use lunar paste on and you want me to try it um, 
which I probably already have, just go ahead and leave a comment. Um, you can message me directly on, see that's what I, yeah, that's exactly what I did. That's how I stepped myself. Um, message me on Facebook, Instagram, through Messenger. Instagram Messenger is a little bit slower because they don't give me those notifications properly. That and I don't catch them as easily as the Facebook ones. Does that make sense? If you guys are crafty and it, you guys could be watching this and think, you know, I, I'm i not a scrapbooker or paper crafter or whatever, but you like these kind of videos and you like our vibe, you guys can hang out with us on Chat with Sassy's Craft. Chat with Sassy's Crafty Friends on Facebook, and we would love to see all your projects, whether it's crochet, knit, paint. Um, I do love all the crafts. I do not crochet, knit, and all that stuff, but if you make jewelry, you know, if, if you made it with your hand, you can post it in our group. Also, for all of you with YouTube channels, like T, um, who else out there does? T, T, who's watching tonight? I think just T right now, but um, if you're watching the replay and you make videos, I have a chat section and chat with Sassy's Crafty Friends that connects to Messenger, and it is Crafty fun crafty videos and lives and you can post your own links in there so the one that says ECR live links that one is mine all mine don't put your stuff in there but you can put your stuff in the other one because I'd like to see what you guys are up to I forgot to post my live too. Okay, so um, you know on an so th there's I don't even know. Okay, so he, these are the pillars and in between the pillar is lattice. And so if this was out in nature these little bars of lattice you would be able to see through these would be like the little voids. So I'm cutting all the little voids out. Because this is an arbor. Like in your garden. And so I'm being a little unique with mine. <laughs> I'm to cut my finger off again. Because I don't know. I just think it would be... Oops. If your paper pushes, go the other direction, okay? So if you go to slice down and it, like, resists, pull up in the other direction. <laughs> that little piece got stuck in there. Get out of there! But yeah, I like, I like doing weird stuff. And this, two crafty girls, one, one Saturday a month, this is what I do. I do my weird stuff. Some weird stuff, some normal stuff. Jonna says, she has more patience than I do. Now, which is funny, because I can do this easy peasy. I don't mind doing this at all. Like, I could, I could fussy cut anything. But I cannot sit there and crochet. Because I think that's <laughs> too many things going on in my head. Like all that counting and remembering how many go in a line in the, you know, strangler pusher off a cliff kind of thing. It just, I don't know, it's hard. Yes, I'm going to fussy cut this out. That's why I didn't mind going really crazy with the, the paste. Because I knew I was going to cut it out. So I didn't have to be 
precise. Now, if you're doing this and you want to be a little bit more precise, you could definitely like use your markers and color this in. Um, I actually don't even need to really color it in if you don't want to. It is a pretty neat little arbor. would be able to cr yeah see John it says I would be able to crochet but not fussy cut <laughs> T says that's why we use markers when we crochet yeah no <laughs> that's too much work <laughs> I tried to make a granny square once it just I was like nope not not my cup of I tried though I tried it is pretty art I tell you that um, and I give anybody props that like my daughter who can sit there and crochet and have something really cute made in no time at all lately she's been doing fish they've been turning out super cute my mom used to do um, counted cross stitch I tell you what, I don't do that either. <laughs> hello, hello. Linda G has popped in. So, do you, I know you do other stuff. What other stuff do you do besides paper craft, Miss Deborah? Uh, I do wood, I do woodworking. I mean, I have made like really large lanterns um, to put outside on the steps and and I made another um, like shelving unit I guess for Steve outside when he's on the barbecue and then he's got places to put the plates and stuff like that. Um, what else did I make? Well, yeah, I do. Yeah, so woodworking. Um, so our journaling is basically, yeah, that's paper craft. Yep. Mixed media. Um, yeah, mixed media is a little bit different because you don't always use paper as your no, base. No, you well, know, that's true. Yeah, so well, so resin. Yeah. And, and um, molding paste. And what else do I have in here? Oh, I don't know. Lots of, <laughs> lots of things. Is there something out there? Uh, Janine says, I have a bunch of cross stitch stuff, but haven't touched it in years. Um, I don't know what that big word is. I'm going to have to Google that. Thanks, T. She says, I'm more head, hedonistic instant gratification with a greeting card. Yes, I love instant gratification too, but now I have to... She's like my mother, throwing big words out there. I think they make these things up just so I have to go look. They're like, oh, I need this word, but I want a fancier word for it. My mom used to do that to me all the time. I'm like, that's not even a word. <laughs> and then they invented Google just for me so I can go, what the heck is that? Like, my auntie, she's like, oh, I had some hand surgery done. And, you know, I'm thinking carpal tunnel. You know, that's usually what people go and have the hand surgery for. And she's like, yeah, they had to fix two trigger fingers. 
And then I'm like, okay, well, as far as I know, when you're shooting weapons, you only have <laughs> one trigger finger. So I'm like, how do you have two trigger fingers on one hand? So I actually had to Google that. I'm like, what the heck is trigger finger? And yeah, I might wind up with that in some point in my life because apparently it like locks, it locks your fingers in place. And it's really common in like your pinky, um, small finger, and it's like these ones are most common that get locked into place and then they don't want to open. I get cramps like that. So I, I'm probably going to have like arthritis or something. Uh, Melissa K says, that's why they invented the Thothoruses. They didn't invent that. He was a dinosaur. <laughs> Oh, wait, no. <laughs> That's Tyrannosaurus, not a Therarus. <laughs> okay, so my next question. And you guys can answer these questions, too. Um, oh, why is this one? No, don't, don't keep that. Done. Okay. <laughs> Everything was going so smoothly until... Until. Is there any craft out there that you would like to try that you really haven't tried? Brush lettering. It's in my drawer. Yeah. I think about it a lot. Well, um, yeah, that might be a sign. Pull it out. Dust it off. Get on it, woman! <laughs> Don't take... Please, nobody out there take offense to that. <laughs> If you do, I'm sorry, you're broken. Just saying. It's a joke. <laughs> okay, you're going to line up. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm out of line. Yeah, it is. Stop <laughs> it. You're not helping. Well, I try. Sometimes. Sometimes I don't want to be a help. I just want to be a <laughs> I feel like being a hindrance would be more, more entertaining. I'm just saying. It is. It is. Jean. Ooh. Okay. So. Oh, T. <gasps> T. You. <laughs> T says acrylic paint pour. Um, I've actually done that. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, Jean that Morin's, was fun. Jean Morin says gel plate thingy. Jean, that's super fun too. And you know, you only need one little gel, one little gel plate to play around and you don't need anything else because 10 to 1 you have inks and paints and all the other things in your craft room that you can use with it. So yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I like both of those. <laughs> you, you have only offended me if you have spit on the spit basically spat on the, <laughs> the sidewalk yeah that's disgusting huh? it is that's really gross and so disrespectful i in my opinion i'm like people are just, nasty that is just, just 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 the action of that is just gross okay okay i must find more paper paper Paper, she says. Got those three. Now I can just run it through the laminator. Now I need another. I need to. Oh, I need two more. Oh, oh no, no, no! I got. Here's one. It was hiding. Oh yeah, this is the one I wasn't going to put a paper on. Because I like both sides. Ugh, poor T. Poor T, I feel so bad for you. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> if you could... Oh, the comments. The comments. Okay, um, so we asked, we asked what you do do, what you would like to do. What would I like to do? You know, you guys, there's not a lot of crafty things that I haven't tried. So, 
Yeah. yeah, I tried flower arrangement. I've already done that. Been there, done that. And what else? I do that um, quite often, actually. I just did it um, at Christmas time and at right now um, for spring. I do floral arrangements with my fake flowers. <laughs> I love, I love that. Makes my makes my mantle look so pretty. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> Not sure where she is now. She said, "Do do do do, <laughs> do, do, do 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 Say, did Dawn make her destination? Um, I would assume so. She's probably having so much fun with her <laughs> out and about. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to message her and see if we can get an update. Update on the Dawn the Crafty Visage vacation. Woohoohoo! We got one out. Check that out. This is the um, Songs of the Sea collectibles from Stamperia, and it's all uh, cut apart, so you have to cut it apart. Um, here's the mermaid one that I'm giving to Elizabeth. And what's neat about this is that you see that side? You get this side. They're exactly the same on both sides. Yeah, that's so unique. You it makes choosing easier because <laughs> you don't have to sacrifice one side or the other. Yeah, and which means that, that that lady can be on the left or the right, which is really nice because then you don't yeah. have to figure out, you know, where to put her. You're like, oh, I want her here, and you can actually flip her over and put her over there. Yeah. I, I kind of like that. Yarn! Oh, that would be fun, T. Yeah, I haven't done that. She said, "I oh, I want to try to make um, yarn from from wool wool roving." We, I don't know if that's a roving, <laughs> but um, and then she said, "Cake decorating." I, <laughs> I, I do that too. Well, I used to do it quite a bit when I lived in Washington, um, my niece's birthdays. That was my, my present to my nieces is I would make their birthday cakes. I made a hat for a hat and a cat birthday theme. I made Dinosaur Island for a, a dinosaur birthday theme. And I did uh, one of those silly little... Um, grocery things and made like a total sprinkle cake that one was a lot of fun i made a cake once where oh minecraft um you cut into the big mountain on the minecraft cake and uh the reese's pieces fell out cool yeah, that, <laughs> that cool. is cool <laughs> yeah i haven't actually decorated a cake in forever though oops I might have cut too far on that one. I'll have to be careful. Oh, uh, she, see. Oh, that's one I haven't tried either is the felting. Dawn did that. That does look fun. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Felting. Yeah, where you take, like, the cushion and you take strands of wool and you pin it in 
and pin it to each other. It's really interesting. It like you stab it to death <laughs> and then you can form it into shapes and stuff. And she, I think Dawn made flowers, but I've seen people felting make realistic looking cats and things. It's really pretty art. But yeah, that's one I haven't done. I don't think I, I, if we could go to like a class, I would take a class on it, but not actually buy this stuff to do it myself. You know what I mean? Because I have a lot of stuff. I don't need any more <laughs> stuff. No more stuffs for me. And then T said she made her own wedding cake for shotgun wedding. That's awesome sauces. I bought my wedding cake. But I wished I hadn't because um, they, I told them what I wanted. They said they could do it, but we literally <laughs> had to hold the cake together while the pictures were taken because they didn't stabilize it good. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. 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 T says, you don't yeah. want to mess with the felting tool. Five sharp needles, Debbie Stab. Well, she didn't say Stabby Stab, but I did because... Uh -uh. If you got needles, you might as well stabby stab. You can't fit in there. I mean, if that's just impossible. And your whiskers should have told you so. Okay. So, next crafty thing. What? 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 Think, think, thinky, crafty, crafty questions. What is your thinking back to all the things you've done? Okay. Is there anything that you remember that you're like, hot dog, this was a lot of fun and I should do it again, but never did? <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, it, that one's a thinker, isn't it? Yeah. That's not coming to my head. I'm done. For me, it's paint pouring. I did it once, and I really liked it, but never did it again. I, see, I've never tried it, and I'd like to try it. Yeah, um, when we first moved here to Ohio... Um, we were stuck in a hotel for dang near a month trying to figure out what we were going to do. And, um, so YouTube, I was perusing YouTube and actually found Tammy Anderson art and her paint pouring. And I was like, oh, I want to try this. So yeah, when we got our own place, I bought, I bought the stuff to try it and it was a lot of fun. And then that was it. <laughs> <laughs> I still has have and okay so i tried it i liked it i showed pictures of it and then my niece commissioned a piece so i did oh, really? yeah i did That's a four funny. panel um pour with her colors that she wanted and made it look um really pretty i mean i hand painted the gold leafing lines and everything like veins it turned out really really pretty i'll have to See if I can find some photos and post it on Facebook. But that was uh, four, almost four years ago. And uh, but yeah, I can, she commissioned it for her work, and so she put the four eight. I think they were eight by eight squares up on her her wall at work. But that was a lot of fun. Um, so I did some trial runs and everything, and then did did the actual commission piece and then never did anything else. <laughs> Go figure. Mm. Yeah, who can afford a kiln? I know. I would love there's some places around here where you can take classes or um do you know they they have the stuff already poured in vessels or whatever and then you can I was paint. just gonna say I've done pottery yep <laughs> I used 
um, in high school, I told them I didn't want PE because I was going to go to art college. And so I took and filled my PE schedule with art, 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 lots of art, ridiculous amount of art. <laughs> Um, and so, yeah, I had, oh. sorry, I'm trying to focus on this little, this little nub here. Yeah, see. I took art anytime I could. That was just, that's it. That's all. Art, art, art. Yep. Um, but a couple of my classes were pottery classes. And that's one thing I would like to do. Um, when I took pottery in school, I never threw on the wheel. It was all hand sculpted stuff. One of my pieces, which I, we no longer have because it, a, a small earthquake in Longview took it, but, um, it was this paper thin, I rolled all the paper pieces, super paper thin. The base started small, but it got super wide at the top and it leaned painted it gold and everything it looked so cool it made its way to a um, presidential event and where if you win first prize they keep it at the White House or something I don't know it was a big a big thing back then I don't know if they still do it but I prayed and prayed that I wouldn't win first praise because I wanted it back <laughs> which I did I got it back so, yay me. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I want to make something I haven't tried before and um, make those, um, the scabs from Shazam. Oh, yeah. Remember I was telling you? Yeah, that's not something I've done before. I, I have all the ingredients and everything written down from that guy that made the pumpkins. Yep. Now, I just have to do it. Just do it. That's right. What is that called? Paper mache? Yes, paper mache. Building? <laughs> no, it's just the the act of paper mache where you put on layers and layers of paper. So, yeah, that's what you're, you're inevitably doing is paper mache. Hey, I've never done that before. But yeah, in his paper mache method, and you guys, we're talking about a guy, I don't know his name, but you can Google all sorts of paper mache artists out there. This one guy has a special formula that really makes his projects last, but it's the same art of gluing the papers together to create um, a masterpiece. And he made some gorgeous pumpkins. And I sent them to Deborah. I says, look at these videos. Yeah. And she was like, I need to do that. I'm like, do that. <laughs> so, yeah. Have you guys ever seen the movie Shazam? And if not, why not? You might have some hesitation and doubt. I did, but it's a good movie, you guys. There's two of them. Shazam. And the newer Shazams, because I guess there was an old, old Shazam. With, or something. But yeah, so just a few years ago, Shazam. Yeah, it would have been the very first one. Well, actually, no, they see... They see his his staff through the other ones, okay. through the other movies. Okay. What what I'm referring to is that there's actually a Shazam from like 1990 something. There's an oh yeah, no one. no 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 more recent, more yeah. recent. Yeah, we we want you guys to watch the recent Shazam. It's actually kind of funny, in my opinion. Don't come at me if you think Shazam is a bad movie. <laughs> it's just an opinion. It's okay. We, we don't have to like the same stuff. Um, 
gym class was mandatory. Yeah, see, um, after middle school, when I got hit high school, I was like, I'm not doing it. I was bullied in gym class. I actually have a scar right here because, um, yeah, they were mean. I got knocked down on playing dodgeball because instead of throwing it at like my side or my back they threw the ball at my feet and it tripped me and I I ate pavement hard and it wasn't like oh sorry it was a whole lot of laughing as my hand was gushing <laughs> kids are mean kids are mean that's all I got Yeah, when I hit high school, I put in an application because you could um, request not to do a required class if you had enough reason. So people would put on there they were skipping gym to do like taking college courses and stuff like that because they also had running start where you could take some college courses with your regular courses. Well, that was cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a great idea. I'm pretty much done now. Um, she's like, yeah, she's done. And I'm still here fussy cutting. <laughs> <coughs> Have you decided what you were doing with the backside of that, that one you didn't like? this <laughs> <laughs> but then when you laminate it it's just going to be plain blue you going to be okay with that or are you going to muck yeah. it up or like I was just looking through some of my stamps uh, that I can um, just mishmash on the back and then I, I just received this recently. Ooh, that would, see, I like that. I wanted to do, like, um, muddle. Black, maybe? Uh, well, muddle, think? so take the blue and muddle it up with some, maybe some browns and your rusty colors. And then put that on top in a nice black or bronzy color. That would be pretty. You know how, I don't know if you know how, but sometimes I do a sky where the brush strokes are like really kind of angry. That's how I feel that blue needs to be. It needs to be an angry blue and not perfect. <laughs> Gym suits. You guys. Uh-uh. I hated Jim. Oh well, yeah, we're on the big screen, so this could... I'm bringing these with me to uh, Elizabeth, so I got her this. Here, let me spotlight you if I can. Mm, no, I need this one. I need, I need to pin. Pin you. And then I need to go back to this one. Oh, see? Ooh, I'm glad I spotlighted that. I will use that. I like that. It's it's four stencils. I think it's four. Or three. Hold on. Three. And then and, and that ends up looking like that. But they're big. Yeah. And then this. It does a window. It cuts it out. That's pretty neat. And what does this come with? Is the stamp and and the die? Yeah, it is stamp and die. Oh, nice. And then this one is just the die. Yeah, this is the die. And then I got you this too. Oh, no way. 
That's Some flowers. I love, I love flowers. White flowers are my favoritist. So if it's white, I'm going to love it. And, uh, you know, white roses are top of the list. I love white roses. I don't know why. You guys, I finished my arbor. <laughs> I got to straighten it out, though. Please hold. Please hold. I like that sunflower. Like, but yeah, it's Forever? See, He's been asking me for a shelf. <laughs> I gotta get my I shelf. Finally, I finally found it. I it. <laughs> Looking for something else. Um, we're gonna remove the pen. But there it is, you guys. My arbor. Look at that. It's so pretty. Oh, I like that on black, though. Look at that. Ooh, I like it. I just need to figure out what I'm going to do because I want to do... Does that die cut out all the holes and everything? What do you think I've been doing for the past hour? <laughs> I hand cut every one of those little thingies out. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's why I stabbed myself because I, I yeah, I went above and beyond. <laughs> Oh, yes, you did. But I'm thinking, this is what I'm thinking. I want, I do want that like so. I want that and that. You know, I might do it like that on a black. But I got to figure out what to do with these because I don't want them plain Jane white with that. question is, do I like it in the black? Let's find out. Please hold. Let's flip this. Put that there. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, no. I, I do. I think I like it in the white better. I gotta think on it. I might revisit this tomorrow. Because I'm, I'm kind of stuck right now. I'm kind of stuck. I did this piece. I've got these. I do want that kind of like that where the bottom is kind of tucked in. But I'm not sure what color I want to do these. If I actually want to go in and actually color the leafery. Uh, I'm not sure. This is. Get out of there. Where are you going? But, and then I'll want something in the background because I definitely don't want it just to be plain. See, it does, yeah, it definitely needs something. So I'm not sure if I want to. I don't know. I know not what I want. What do I want? Tell me what I want. Ooh, that might be fun. Ooh, that might be fun. Kind of like that, too, where we put two... Sorry about my lighting. I'm not sure what's going on there. It's having issues with the black and the white and this stuff. Titter tat! Titter tat! Okay, we could do two up there. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to have to play around with how we're going to color these. Maybe I want to do a grayscale thingy. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we stay in? I think you should walk away and come back to it. I should. What color is this? I better not just mark that down. Well, that's a nice light one.
Yeah. I'll have to decide how I want to do this. Because with as much detail as I just did here, I don't want this to be undershadowed or looking like an afterthought. You know what I mean? So I might have to take extra care to make... These guys are shedding so bad right now. <gasps> Their winter fur? Oh mm -hmm. my goodness. Anybody need a rug? <laughs> <laughs> save, save it up. You're, you're going to need it to make your wooing projects. Oh, I should look for my ephemera. I have, like, actual ephemera from Stamperia, too. I wonder where I put that. I'll have to look for it. Now I'm gonna have oh. to figure out my color scheme for this. It might be in the grays. I'm not 100% sure. That might be fun. to work on this. Have you eaten your supper? Me? Yeah, I ate dinner before. That's why I didn't answer your call when you called, because I didn't hear it and I was stuffing my face. Uh oh. <laughs> I thought you were in the bedroom cooling off. Yeah, nope. I was stuffing my face. And then, um, yeah, that's what I was doing. Eating my dinners. It was tasty. The hubby was so kind and made it. So, I could shower. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. So, why are you biting, Mommy? Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to do something like that. It's probably going to take me a time. I'm going to have to make another card for my project for Spellbinders. And be like, sorry dudes, uh, it took so long. But, uh, yeah. I like it. I like it like this, too. It's very moody. Very moody. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Well, thank you for hanging out with us. Yes. Thank you, everybody. Um, if you uh, have any questions or crafty thingies, let me know on Facebook or um, chatwithsassy.com. Not com. Chat. Well, that's my website. There's nothing new there. <laughs> Chat with Sassy. What? Chat with Sassy at Gmail. There we go. If you have crafty questions or would like to see something on um, on the channel, let me know. And thank you, Deborah, for hanging out with us and showing us all your goodies and your fur, baby. Yeah, she's still here on my lap. Yes. <laughs> Harley <And> wants in. <laughs> and we will see you guys next time. And remember, Two Crafty Girls, the second Saturday of each month. So Deborah will be with us. Unless we do a spot, uh, spontaneous one. So make sure you're subscribed because you never know. Bye, my friends. Have a good crafty evening. Bye-bye. Wait. Which one do I need to push? <laughs> titter-tat, titter-tat. <laughs> I'm on the, where's my end button? I found it! <laughs>